I tried out with the U-17s in 2012 with Sue Ronan when she was the coach, and I did not make it at the time. And then about a year and a half ago, I was in touch with Dave Connell, and he invited me to come over for a camp, and then later we would be going to Denmark, and I that was my first trip with them, and that went well, and I went to Sweden with them two weeks later. So I want to try and get to the senior squad. I want to do well with them, and I want to pursue this as my career. My dad is from the U.S., and my mom is from Loud, so that's how I'm Irish. I've never thought of myself as just American, and if you're living in the U.S., everyone always says, oh, I'm distant relatives to this person, but no, I'm Irish, I'm American, and I've been to Ireland at least 20-something times now, so it's it's in my blood. Yeah. I'd choose Ireland over the U.S. any day. I love this team and the people here, and I feel like I'm part of a family, and if I switch to the U.S. now or when I was younger or something, I don't think I'd feel as much of, of a part of it. I've known some of the girls for about four years now, and some of them I've only met in the past year, but it doesn't matter how long I've known them. All of them have been accepting and extremely kind. And when it gets on the pitch, everyone's just equal. And there's an understanding between everyone that when you get on the pitch, you give everything and you'd work, you do everything for any of them. I thought that we played extremely well. I was disappointed with the goal we conceded, but I thought that we matched Germany really well that we prepared and we were ready for them. Uh, playing in that stadium with the crowd and with the rest of the girls was phenomenal. I, it's an opportunity I, I am absolutely thrilled to have had and I'm excited for the next two games. Uh, my Most of my dad's family, or a lot of them, are in the Marine Corps. So um, I had that background and the Irish background and together it's good.